welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i do nail tutorials um, and i also do unboxings if you like that sort of thing please subscribe and give a like and a comment down below what would you like to see next right here i am just prepping my nails for poly gel i am just taking off the natural shine of my nail and um, cutting down the cuticles This step in your uh, prepping your nails is a must so you don't get lifting and or anything when you're doing poly gel. So it's a must to prep your nails properly, otherwise you will get lifting. Right here I'm using the cuticle ball bit for my e-file and it gently removes any cuticle that you might have. It's a must for prep for your nails and if anyone wants to know what e-file i'm using i'm using mccart's e-file it is a very good e-file i do recommend especially for beginners and i do have a code and it's linked in my bio but if you would like um some coins off to save some money i my code is butterfly candy underscore glam to save some extra money when you shop on my cart site. Here I am applying my tips. I do cut off just a little bit on the nail bed area. Um, I do that because I have very narrow nails. So this helps with application for me. And then I'm using my KDS glue to, to glue them on. I have no problems with that glue. It works like a charm. And then I will be trimming my nails Now I'm just going to slightly file down the sides just so everything's flushed with my nail beds and the tip. Now I'm using my um, sanding bit to sand down the shine off the fake nail and smoothing down the tip where it meets my natural nail just so that it's flush with my nail. But you want to make sure when you're using your e-file not to make a divot in your natural nail. So kind of just hoover over the area so that it's kind of smoothed out a little bit for that tip area. I'm sure there's some people wondering why I am sanding down the tips, but um, with poly gels, you have to sand down the tip so it, so the poly gel can grab on to the fake nail. 
Now with acrylics, you don't need to do that, obviously, but for poly gel, you have to do that step because you want the poly gel to actually adhere to the fake nail so it has a little grip to it when you sand it down. Now that it's all done, I took off all the dust. Now I am dehydrating my nails um, to get ready for um, poly gel. And after I dehydrate them with alcohol, I do go ahead and use a primer, an acid primer, just at the natural nail area so that my poly gel can grip and last longer. Now after you're done dehydrating and priming, you're gonna go ahead and put a base coat on all of your nails. Cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now it is time for your poly gel application. Here is a pink nude that I'm using by McCart. It is called La Crepe. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but you can find this color on their website. Um, I, I highly recommend their poly gels. If you're a poly gel tech, they, are, they have some of the best poly gels I've worked with. Um, I do not use slip solution. I use 91% um, acetyl um, alcohol and it's the best thing in my opinion to use as a slip solution. And the brush that I'm using right here is the um, Kalinsky number no. eight gel brush. And it works wonders because it's bigger than your average um, poly gel brush that you might get in like certain kits but um, I highly recommend it you can find it on Amazon it is wonderful now for the first bead that you see me do on the other clip I did um, I'm doing the two bead method where you do the first bead at the bottom where the tip area is and you don't worry about your apex until your second bead and this is my second bead so now I'm making sure my apex is at the right height and just so that it has the good structure so it doesn't break and that's why I do the two bead method I just feel like it just works great for me but it also works really good for beginners if they're just trying to learn poly gel this is a great way to learn but uh, make sure when you're using it or you're doing this method that you pat everything down nice and neatly and gently um, making sure your cuticle area is free of any poly gel and making sure you're cleaning up your side walls so that it doesn't look bulky and like I said just keep smoothing it out so that you don't have you know bumps or divots um, so you don't have to keep reapplying poly gel and also at the end when it's nice and smooth you don't really have a lot of filing but right here you'll see me um, do the two bead method so I will just go ahead and let you watch and see how I do this step 
Now I forgot to mention when you're done doing your smoothing out of your first bead and you're all done, make sure you cure in the lamp for 60 seconds, wipe the tacky layer off and go on to your next bead. Now you don't necessarily have to do the 2B method like I'm doing in this video. It works best for me and sometimes it's good for beginners as well but if you're gotten really good at a poly gel then the one bean method is just as good um the only reason why i don't do it is because i feel like i waste a lot of poly gel doing the one bean method because sometimes i'll just grab too much <laughs> at once but that is also a great way of doing it as well but go ahead and continue watching. I do do my whole hand. So if you have any questions or anything at all, let me know in the comments down below. Just mentioned, please go ahead and cure that when you're done in the lamp for 60 seconds before you go on to your next bead. And with poly gels, it does have a tacky sticky layer after you cure. Don't worry, it's not wet. Just wipe it down with some alcohol and you're good to go. Now how I clean up my sidewalls, I don't use my brush, I, I dip my finger in the alcohol and just run it along the side of my uh, nails. Um, that helps get free of any of the bulk of the um, poly gel and that's how my nails turn out pretty crisp in my opinion. Um, you don't have to use your finger and as a matter of fact you really shouldn't be touching a lot of the alcohol. I should be wearing a glove but i haven't had any allergic reaction or any problem with it so far but i do recommend using a glove um, be smart about it because it is chemical um, but that's how i get my crisp lines um, to where my nails don't need a lot of filing And now um, these are my nails without them being filed. And as you can see, they're pretty smooth already. And that's what you want for your goal after you're done applying your poly gels. Now I am going to going ahead and filing my nails. So what I do is use a hand file just for the um, tips, the middle and the tip of my nails just to smooth them out. If I need to file down any of the bulk, I will, but I don't really necessarily have to. I just check to see if there's any divots, bumps, or anything that I need to fill and smooth out the sides. And then after for the cuticle area, I use my e-file to file down anything if I need to and clean up any of the cuticle area with a cuticle ball bit. And you will see in this video.
dusted off and now that's after just the hand file and now I'm going to do the E file. Now with the e-files you can see I'm just using a sanding grand bit and just gently going over my cuticle area and if I need to file down any of the bulk which I really didn't have to I was just kind of making sure it was smooth on top as well and that's basically all I do for the cuticle area. Now after I'm done filing and sanding out, I do like to go in with a cuticle ball bit just to clean up the cuticle areas as you can see and it just makes it nice and neat in my opinion and that's why I do this step. Now after all that, I am going to show you just one of my nails. Um, I do end up doing a French tip for all of my nails in different browns because I do do a sweater look with Snoopy and Woodstock. But the reason why I didn't film it all is because I mainly wanted this video to be about application for beginners. So just enjoy the rest of the video and I hope you have a good day wherever you are. And if you're not already, please subscribe, give a like and a comment, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And like I said, um, if you do want to see the end results, just keep on watching and you'll see Snoopy and Woodstock. Kind of my favorite characters to do for fall. I absolutely think they're adorable.